everyone yesterday we had a quad today we've got a car so in today's episode what we have planned out is we've already got the car we've been to a guy called Ertash he's a guy who picked us up from the airport when we arrived here in Turkey so we're going to drive out of some waterfalls today there's two that we're going to visit which are about half an hour from here so the first one is called Topala so we're going to go there, the sat navs is about 35 minutes, depending if we get lost, it looks pretty straightforward to get there. Then we're going to drive about another 35 minutes back east and there's another waterfall there um, and there's a nice restaurant on a waterfall so hopefully we're going to try and get some lunch there. We're not sure how that's going to work out because I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of two hour groups at this one because what I've seen, like I think it does get busy in the afternoon. After that, we'll see what we're like for time because we're going to start heading towards Olu Deniz where we're staying for the night and um, because we have something else planned which will be the next episode when we're across in Olu Deniz. So if we can fit anything else in, uh, we will, but we're going to start heading off now and we'll give you a little bit more information about the car and how much it costs. So let's go. Yeah! So we've ended up with this big bloody bus, pretty much. Great big people carrier. Just thought we're gonna get like a just a small car or whatever, which would do work. But never mind. So this is £30 per day. We've got it for two days because we're heading over to Olu Denise, which should take about from Dalian, I think it's about one, one and a half hours roughly. We're heading north first. So like I said, we're gonna head to some waterfalls get out see a little bit of the nature around here and see how the day goes so we're going to head off so come with us <laughs> Dalian. I've never driven in Turkey before so this could be interesting. I'm still trying to work out the rules of the road. These roundabouts are weird because it just kind of seems to stop in the middle and it's a little bit hairy at the minute. Some of the cars whizzing past. But I'm sure we'll be alright once we get kind of onto the main motorway. And like I say, it should only take about half an hour to get there so we're on my way anyway. arrived uh, it wasn't too bad to find on though it's only signposted at the turn in so if you're driving fast and you go past it you'll have to go around and come all the way back so you just need to keep your eyes out for it if you're coming here it's called Topolar 
So we'll go through the town of Topola and then it's about a couple of minutes past there. So it's just a tiny little road on the right, it's a little, literally like a dirt track. We're just going to go and see if we need to pay anything to park or if we can even park here. And then I think there's a little walk through down to the waterfall. So we'll go and have a look through here. So there's a little place there at the front. It's just like a little, looks like a little cafe restaurant type thing. And you pay 15 lira each entry to get in. So there was a guy there just waving with down and pay by card, which is handy because we haven't actually got much currency left on one. Okay, so just have a walk through and hopefully we'll get a little dip. expect to be climbing a hill today. <laughs> Just thought we'll be straight through but it's uh, quite a steep little hill behind there and it's baking, baking hot. But luckily there's a nice little bit of a breeze starting to come through and hopefully it's not too far to walk. And now we're at a crossroads. <laughs> yeah, must have to walk through the river. It looks like we need to walk through here now with all the frogs. Looks slippy. gets a bit better. Just seen a sign back there saying 0.2 so it must be 0.2 kilometers so I don't think it's too much further on and at least we've got a proper path to walk on now. But we've been walking for about five or ten minutes but we've stopped a bit at the frogs. This looks newly built as you can kind of see all the cement marks along where the fence is. It's really nice, really peaceful very green considering they don't get that much rain in the summer months so we can see the fall now just down in this little valley the path just leads you down seeing a few people just coming up there there's obviously a few people around but it seems pretty quiet so we've got a ramp which looks like a slide or some stairs. I think we'll take the stairs for now. Here we are, that wasn't too bad, it was about 10 minutes, but it's actually really really deep here, but the water is so clear, it's really nice. Got a nice rope swing as well here to jump in, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. There's a few people here, just Turkish people, they're just all relaxing here by the river. There's not much place to put your stuff. We found a little bit here, but we'll probably stick our stuff and go for a dip. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm very <laughs> slippy. Cold and slippy. <laughs> Never gonna get out of here. <laughs> So as I expected, really cold, because it's just fresh water, but it's lovely, lovely setting. Got the sun on, we're here. It's just lovely being in nature, really. Stunning place. And this is only about 35 to 40 minutes from Dalian, if you hire a car. So it's definitely worth coming and having a look here, definitely. We've got the place to ourselves now, everybody's gone. So it's, it's really nice here. Yeah? It's just nice and peaceful. Just the sounds of all the insects and everything and there's quite a few fish in there. And it's really refreshing. So what do you think of Topola? Yeah, it's very, it's very nice, beautiful. beautiful. Nice setting, isn't it? Yeah. It is just like a natural swimming pool, isn't it? It's lovely. Mm -hmm. I would, I would hate to be here if it was jam rampant. Yeah, yeah, because there's not much space to kind of put yeah. your stuff down. But I mean, there's like a few places here on the rocks. Um, and we just found like a little bit of covey bit, which we just put our stuff in. But once everybody's gone, there's like a little bit of room. And I would probably recommend if you've got any kind of water shoes, because it's quite like stony on the bottom, which we haven't got. And some of the rocks are really slippy. So you've got yeah. anything with a good grip, it's probably good to wear then. Once you get past the first little yeah. bit of rock, you, you can walk on it. They're not too bad. It's but yeah, definitely recommend it. And like I say, what, 45 minutes from Dalian. So it's, it's not that far to come, yeah. really. And it's quite easy to find. Mm. Other than just that sign, which is just like, if you go past it, you've missed it. <laughs> yeah, There's the no other was signs, was that was that was it. Luckily we knew it was a, a right turn. Yeah. Because usually we'd use Google Maps, but we haven't got like a SIM card or anything here, so we're just kind of doing everything on the fly, if you like. Anyway, we're going to dry off, finish off here, and then we're going to move on to our next place. I think that's about another 30 minute drive, and hopefully we might get another swim in there, and we might get some food there as well. So it looks like we've timed that absolutely perfectly. I know there was a few people there when we got there, but the amount of people we've just seen walking in, it looks like two kind of little minibus loads coming in, and you'll never get moved down there with that many people. Yeah, we've done the right thing. We've got here, yeah, so I think it was about quarter to 12, so we spent about an hour just have a little swim and walk through. It only takes 10 minutes to get through, it's not too bad.
that took about yeah about half an hour I'm getting parked up seems quite busy it's obviously quite a popular place to come because you see this all over Instagram and all that kind of thing but it looks like you've got your own kind of choice of restaurants yeah there's there's plenty I think we've seen about probably five or six babies just around this one little area so we've chose a one called I think it's Top Go Zoo so we're gonna have a look and see if we can get in here if not there's other ones by the river but it's quite nice just as you can see as you walk in you've got like this waterfall here there's a few little fountains on the way in and it was a lovely drive over just some of the lovely mountain landscapes and everything just really really nice drive so we're gonna go and see if we can get in here and we'll show you around inside So what do you think of this restaurant? Uh, it's, um, it's very different. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool actually, it's like, uh, yeah, it's really nice, like lovely setting. Like I say, there's quite a few of these kind of restaurants around here, but it's just, it's really, really nice. Not sure how it operates like with um, getting menus and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure. Water is freezing on your feet. But it's, it's somewhat different, it's a bit, yeah, it's quite a bit of a novelty really, isn't it? It's nice. Obviously it's all set up for like Instagram and social media kind of thing. Nice setting, really pretty. And you're sheltered away from the sun as well, because it's red hot today, but we'll get a menu and we'll see what we've got on offer here. So the water itself that flows through the restaurant does actually come from the mountains. So you can see here, this is the actual river, but then where the restaurant is, you can see they've kind of manipulated the river a bit and built these waterfalls to give it like a, a nice setting. But it's beautiful, I mean, how clear the water is here is just amazing. Like I say, it's something a little bit different. It's quite unique. I think you can actually go swimming down there as well. I've got some like water slides, so you can actually go for a dip in the water here. It's bloody freezing though. But yeah, this is this is spot on. This is really, really nice. And this is quite a good find. But like I say, if you don't want to come to this restaurant, because a lot of the um, stuff on the menu, we struggled a little bit. There are other restaurants here. Yeah, there's probably a, another four restaurants or whatever just outside there. But this one's massive, and you can actually stay here as well. I've got like, I think it's classed as like a bit of like a, a bit of like a boutique hotel. We've got bungalows and all that kind of stuff here. So if you want something a little bit different when you're coming to the Dalaman area then this might be an idea for you because it is a really, really nice place. And it'll probably be a lovely place at night time when it's all little. So we're just getting chips as like a side. Uh, didn't think we we're gonna get as many chips as that and the breads, like the chunks of bread are massive. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, and it's really soft. It's a good start. So I've gotten, uh, it's called chicken in, in the oven. So whether it's just a clear pot or a whole chicken, I don't know. And Jackie's gone for the meatballs, because like I said, it was it was like a lamb's head on the menu and <laughs> didn't fancy that. 
So yeah, it was a little bit difficult to kind of choose something, but these chips look good, and there's loads of them. So we might have made a mistake by getting them. So let's see what Jackie thinks of our balls. Oh, look and smell good. <laughs> That's just come out of the oven. Like a little burger. Nice. Yeah, quite tasty. I'm gonna make it like a dip or something. That's why you have ketchup and meals. I'll have to, yeah. You're being Good proper English. Yeah. Okay, so this is just chicken done in the oven. Looks like it comes like in an oil and it's coated in something. So you got quite a little bit of chicken in there, nice little chunks, red hot. Chicken's really well cooked, nice and soft, burning your mouth. It's, yeah. I think it's just like turkey spices it's coated in, but it actually smelt a bit like a curry when it come out. And I know they do like a tandoor meat thing on the menu, so whether they put a few tandoori herbs and spices on there, but it's nice. That was Yervalak Shai. It was alright, wasn't it? Funny. Yeah. I mean, Jai wasn't so keen on the food. It was okay. I mean, it was pretty plain and basic to be fair, but we just wanted chips? something to eat. The chips and the bread were good. Oh yeah, the chips and the bread were superb. Like I say, the chicken was like okay, and it was coated in some, but it didn't really have a load of taste. But it was fine. It was fine. But I mean, it's it's more for the the surroundings, the natural beauty. And it's just somewhere nice to sit, apart from in the water, because it was it was, oh, freezing. Wow, it was freezing. My battery's just cut out as we're doing my little thing there at the end. But well, we're going to move on, I think, to Olu Denise now, because time's ticking on a bit. And I think we've got about a two-hour drive, so we're going to head <coughs> over there now. So what did you think of the first waterfalls out of five, Jaggies? You've Four. never said that. Four. And? Three and a half. Three and a half. Right. Okay, we're going to move on now, and we'll see you at Olu Denise. in Olu Denise. We'll give you a quick run to that. It's really not good. And we're gonna cut this one short for reasons I'll explain after we do a quick room tour. Uh, my head's just all over the place at the minute. Like, something that's happened, but we'll show you the room and then I'll explain why. So this is the Mezze Motel um, that we are booked for one night only, um, thank God. <laughs> £28 for the night. £28 a night, yeah, so we are here, what you expect. The, the beds seem comfortable, um, it's quite soft, it seems clean. Aircon, I think it's free, it's yeah, pretty yeah, okay, okay, mate, they haven't set it, so uh, yeah. The control's already in here. Alright, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and then we've got a, there's another bed there as well. Which is also comfortable. Actually, that's probably more. It's more comfortable than that. Yeah. I love it much. Got a nice cupboard. Cool. Nice broken cupboard. Let's light it. I actually find it tends to. Get electrocuted. Lights on and stayed on. <laughs> I did put it off and now it's just on. So right. Great. TV. Tiny. Don't know if it works. Like, not be watching it anyway. to touch it. A little dressing table. Oh, there is a... More like a dressing oh, shelf. That's good, there is a hairdryer. Yeah, yeah. You'll see why I'll in a minute. <laughs> why we're like, ah. Oh. Uh, and a wall. Find a kissing thing. Oh, not many hangers. Oh, that's fine. And then... Bathroom. Shower. Toilet, you've got toilet paper, wrist soap, towels, lucky. 
Yeah, so when we first came in, I was at Jamie, I should have bought me hair dryer because this was what. <laughs> this is what the hair dryer yeah. is. It looks like a bit of a little yeah, so yeah, it's not the best, but anyway. We're gonna go out anyway. Mm -hmm. I think it's alright. I mean, it's cozy for two. Small. I wouldn't lean on that. I'm just trying you to. You might not see the end of the day. <laughs> for a second time. For a second time. Um, yeah, so. There is a pool here as well, but there was nobody sat around it. I don't know if anybody's actually stayed here. There was no towels out on beds or anything. It'll do for the one night, but if I was staying here, like, I think the aircon unit's gonna actually fall off the wall. So yeah, I mean, would be gutted if we're stopping here. Thankfully, it's only the one night. I mean, we did look at other hotels, but I mean, this one was cheap. We've already paid for our accommodation back in Dalian, but we've come here for one reason only, really, so. That'll be the next episode, but <laughs> I'll explain to you what happened on the way. So after we left the restaurant, we were driving, we got about five, ten minutes away from the restaurant, and uh, there was two cars in front of us, and as well, kind of coming over a bit of a hill, this car just shot out of nowhere, um, and literally, it, it, was, it was going way too fast. And I seen it, and it swerved across the road and hit the car in front of us. So literally, if we'd have left two seconds sooner, it would have hit one. It absolutely smashed the car up in front of us. And that, luckily, I managed to swerve in time. I seen it coming, and it was just the way things happened, it was so... I was so lucky because I managed to swerve, there was like a little bit of road that kind of went out and I managed to swerve around some of the debris hit our car and um, I just kind of believe how lucky we were like I don't know how many people were in the car in front of us but they just seemed to keep pulling people out uh, there was two of them like looked in a bad way when we um, stopped because we were like directly behind them so they pulled one guy out and I actually thought he was dead at one point. He was just lying on the floor, like motionless. And there was another woman there. There was a young kid in the car. I just, it's all I can think about, like, on the way across. It's, it's really playing on my mind, like, how lucky we were. So I don't know what else to say about it, really. It's, it's just really, really lucky. And it could have been us. And if he'd have hit us, he would have hit us head on. The speed he was going at, I don't even know if I would have gotten through. Because <laughs> I, I just don't know how I managed to swerve in time. I just, my reactions were just good. <laughs> and I just like reacted to it really well, thankfully. Because he could have gone into us as well. An ambulance turned up anyway, and the police turned up just as we were leaving. We stuck around because I, I was probably the best witness of the whole accident. Um, and some guy t t turned up and says, oh, is this your car? He says, oh yes, because like I say, we were parked behind the car that had been hit. And um, he just says, oh, you can go. So, I mean, like I say, I thought we would have maybe had to have stayed around for the police, or the gendarme as they're called here, because they turned up just as we were leaving, we seen them coming up the hill. But the ambulance had arrived and, and they were kind of seeing them, but um, yeah, it's, it's shook us up a bit. Yeah, I, I need to um, go for a beer <laughs> and just try and take my mind off it for a bit. I'm going to leave this one here today.